I have a quick game we can play here. You pick a number. Yep. We have to get closest to that number on the full swings, and then I've got to go with the same card. As okay, as okay. Time. Okay, guys, I've got something really interesting for you all today. Uh, it's going to be really interesting for me as well because this is the full swing launch monitor. Yeah, this is, uh, I tell you, it's a powerful piece of kit. Um, it's really cool. So it's, it's out of America. It was designed by Tiger Woods. And this is basically a super powerful, super portable unit that works the same way as Trackman does, where it's got Doppler radars. Yeah. Um, but it's designed for data, data, data. Right. So it's imagine your, yourself going to the range before a club competition or whatever you're at, whatever you're warming up for. Popping this down, it is capable of running completely offline or with an app on iOS. Wow. And it is powerful, man. So I have a feel of that. It is a tough piece of kit. Oh God, that is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> First thoughts about its launch point, it's uh, obviously very heavy. Um, durable. Durable, uh, yeah. The yeah, screen. they don't like the word heavy. Durable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the screen that it comes up with is amazing. It's so bright, it's so clear. Um, I mean, we've got a few different, we've got four different parameters on here, which I'm sure we'll talk about later yeah. on. Um, but yeah, so what's this little camera? Yeah, so there's a 4K swing capture camera on there. So wow. you're, you know, you will have been, you will have seen on other radar devices that sit behind you. Almost all of them nowadays have some kind of swing capture camera. That's it, yeah. You can slow it right down to a quarter speed and you have the crispest um, swing capture on the market. It's Amazing. a market leader right now. Um, so we'll obviously do a demo of the swing capture. Uh, I'll show you around the app because it's all based off of an app. Okay. Um, and then we'll take it out in the course because that's where this thing really shines. Okay, so you've just said it's a, a radar based unit. So obviously it sits behind the golf yeah. wall. What kind of distance are we talking? Now you can choose there. Um, okay. So you have an option between 10 and eight feet. Um, at Golf Swing Systems, we, we always recommend giving it as much space as you can. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're at 10 feet here. And uh, one of the reasons why is the field of view of the 4K camera. Um, it's just with 10 feet, you get more of your swing captured. Of course, It's yeah. a bit easier to see everything. Um, if it was too close, you wouldn't get the whole thing. Yeah, especially, yeah. I'm obviously, I, I'm a bit of a giant. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so if I, if I swing at 8 feet, you lose the top of my swing. Yeah, but at 10 right. feet, I'm absolutely fine. Yeah, so around about 10 feet, 8 to 10 feet behind yeah. the unit. Okay, so... Um, You've mentioned, like, I mean, we've got it up on the screen here, um, yeah. but it doesn't actually come with a desktop app, does it? No, it's purely no. based on tablet. Yeah, and it's not the most visual of apps. No. Like, it really isn't. There's no, there's no dancing around it. I can't try and sell this as a great visual app. You don't get a range where you see the ball flight. You get dispersion on the left, you get data tiles on the right, and you get your swing capture. And that is the whole point of it. It's supposed to be trimmed down so you get your data really quickly and really accurately. So you can see there, Mitch has hit a dead straight one, six yards left of, uh, left of target line. So that's where my ball ended up, yeah? Yeah, so that's the, that's the finishing. Yeah, so that's on, that's on carry, so that's carried to there. So there's um, no, no shot tracer? Nope, nope. Okay. So the whole point is, if you were at a range, so if you took this with you to the range, you've hit your shot, you look up and you've seen the ball flight there, Absolutely, yeah. and then you're looking at your app to get your data. You get so you don't need data, to have the, the ball flight again, yeah. yeah. Cool. And it's come up, like I said, with the screen earlier, I've got all the data that uh, I, I'm working on, I want to work on, on the screen right behind me. So if I'm at the driving range and I don't need to go over to my iPad to have a look at it, it's literally most of the data that I need is on there. You could run this as well completely without an iPad. You could really? take just this all in, right, in okay. your golf bag and it will run entirely offline. That's cool, yeah. Um, which is nice. It's, it's, I, I, for, the, you know, for the driving range, it's not too much of a task to take an iPad. Yeah, yeah. But uh, on the course, maybe you don't want to have all that extra tech all with you. the connection issues, yeah. loading it you up just and all that sort of stuff. literally whack it down and Turn it will it measure on. everything offline, give you your data straight away. Brilliant. And it's, uh, I've, used, I've done a lot of testing. Um, you've probably seen our social media, Jack Harrison, the tour pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we went out on course with it. I was just whacking it down behind him. He was hitting shots and I was getting accurate data immediately. Great stuff. Great very, stuff. very cool. Let's hit a couple more. So what kind of like range am I talking to my ball? Like I'm trying to just eye it up central here, but kind yeah. of push so it out a little bit. To be honest, if you're, if you're roughly central, you're good. Um, yeah. So the, the tolerance on this I've, I've found is about a foot either side of central. So it's quite, it's quite a lot of tolerance. Oh, that was oh, a thin oh, one. Skinny. <laughs> That's okay. We've all been there. We saw that in our last video. <laughs> <laughs> let's just, uh, let's, let me put it a little bit further out. Yeah. So you can just test it. That was right. There you go. Pull that. So that's pu go. that's pushing it quite a lot already as well. Yeah, yeah. So that was a way. That was a good foot outside. Let's try outside left. So it's quite a lot of tolerance, and that's also probably because I, I'm speculating here again. But uh, on the course, sometimes it's not easy to put the, the launch monitor down in the perfect spot. Yeah. You yeah. might be in the rough. You might be. Yeah. You might have a bush there. 
and you can just pop the launch monitor slightly off centre, you're still going to get good data. That's cool, yeah, yeah that's cool. Um, let's hit a few different clubs. Yeah, should we turn you on to what, 5 iron? 5 iron, let's Quite go. Cool. So, what you do is click the 7 iron button, it's going to give you dispersion circles individually for each individual part. Okay, as well. okay. So, that is pounded. I'm interested to hear, because we haven't done one of these on video before. Um, are you feeling like you trust the data in turn? Because you, you can't see the shot shape. Are you able to sort of tell what you've done before you see it on the screen? Well, that one was thin, so it's yeah. going to go short. Yeah. Yeah. Screen Absolutely. As well. So when I was hitting the seven irons earlier, um, I could feel feel it going to the right. Um, yeah, so that one, the one where I moved the closer over here, most towards the left, I was trying to aim straight and I could feel that the club face was a bit open mm -hmm. as I struck it. That's going to be the look. And obviously it popped up with that one that's on the yeah. screen over there. So yeah, I, I definitely trust the data. I mean, it, it's tough because I'm used to seeing the ball tracer yep. on screen and that, but you, you kind of get a feeling for your golf shots, don't you? So I've played a lot of golf, yeah. you've played a lot of golf. You, you kind of know when you pull one, you kind of know when you push one. And to see I just don't that, know when each one's going to happen when exactly I swing. Same, that's the same. <laughs> But yeah, to see that replicated on yeah. that screen uh, with the launch monitor is obviously I trust that. So if I come over here and I just press the play button, oh, you're getting super accurate data. Me standing there, waving my hands about, but Mitch's swing in 4K, nice and slow. Let's hit another one so they get a bit of a nicer image without me in the. In let, the frame. let me have a go with driver. Yeah. What we're we looking at, 250. I think 260 carry. It's pounded. So we've got 262 carry and we can show off the real sort of party piece of the full swing. So which is just before you do that, sorry, I'm just, I was yeah. thinking how far off line is that? So is this data so That's 23 yards carry? right, yeah. Right, okay. I'm off centre line, so that's probably still the right edge of the fairway. Yeah, yep. which I'll take. <laughs> and if we press the play button here, you here get 4K swing capture of Mitch's swing. Everything looking good. Delightful. Quite a bowed wrist, you like a little little Dustin Johnson bowed yeah, wrist? Yeah, I don't know why that is, but yeah. no. <laughs> I love that, look how clear the image is. I mean, I'll overlay the, the B-roll footage of the actual screen yeah. recording, but even on the projector, like that is the crispest yeah. swing capture image that I've seen. And you've got to say as well, um, it's got to be mentioned, we're in a room with uh, flickering sort of uh, LED lighting. You know, we've got, you know, it's, it's not that bright. That picture is only going to get better when we get in the sunlight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So one more with driver, mate. Yeah, whack another one away. Oh, I that love that. <laughs> 108 club speed, that's the fastest I've seen. Oh, 277. 277. <laughs> that's a biggie. And interestingly, 27 yards right, you're only four yards further right than the other one, so you're probably actually maybe just aiming out there a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's a great swing. Love that. Nice and long. Good. So how much are we talking for this piece of kit, Alex? Comes in at five grand. Right, okay. Yeah, almost on the dot. You get a pound change from five grand. Yeah. Um, but with that, you're sort of sitting in between that kind of GC3 and Mevo Plus and Skytrack. You're sort of, yeah, you're so right in between, between the, the two. two. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's an interesting price point. It sort of comes in on its own. Um, but for the money, you're getting that super, super accurate data. It's, it's basically TrackMan level data for the range. Wow. That would be the way I'd describe it. So yeah, this is giving you all the data that you're gonna need, but it's not ideal if you are wanting to work, or well, if you wanna see golf simulator sort of software projecting up on the screen, shot tracers and all that. So you can't get that with the launch monitor itself, but, no, but I believe it works with E6. Yeah, it plugs in. So it can, it can be compatible with E6 Connect on uh, iOS. So um, you're able to use it on you know tablets and stuff like that. So you can connect it up, use it the same way you would Skytrack Plus or Mevo Plus yeah. on um, E6, which we can overlay here. We can see some sort of uh, some footage. Um, but you're gonna be able to get access to, to courses, to be able to play. If you want to hit on their driving range as well, you can put it on the E6 driving range and see your ball flight absolutely, as well. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And you're still gonna get all your data from the full swing. Um, so you're still gonna see it on the screen. You're still gonna see it in the aftershot bit of the E6. Yeah. So you're gonna get your data, you're gonna get more of a visual experience if that's what you want. Yeah. Um, now, I, I quite like sort of the data focus bit, but if you're not as analytical, then yeah, you're gonna want to see, see the that. Shot yeah. Traces personally. yeah, so you can do that with E6. Um, uh, and you're cool. still sort of coming in, even with the, and with the perpetual E6 license, it's coming in at about 5,750 all in. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's important to know. So if you're gonna get the full swing launch monitor, then the app that it comes with doesn't have its own driving range to show you yeah. shot tracer and stuff. But if you do want that feature, it is still possible because you can connect it to E6 Connect. And then that way you can use the E6 driving range. You can play uh, golf courses on E6 as yeah. well, but it is a little bit of extra money. Yeah, and a little bit of a, 
sort of a he said, she said type thing, a bit, a bit of speculation. Um, Full Swing is obviously a very popular home simulator company in America. Um, now they build a very premium, very, very graphically intense simulator. Yeah. Like the courses are fantastic. They're really, really good. Um, and there is sort of speculation, you know, forum speculation that they might loop the full swing kit into that software somehow. Um, now we don't know how they're going to do that. They don't know if they're going to do that because it is just speculation. But if we get that, then this becomes a real contender. Oh, mate. So yeah. I, I don't know. I, I've seen people and heard people talk about the full swing home yeah. simulator. I thought that was this, but uh, obviously it's not. That is a, an extremely high end launch monitor yeah. that a lot of tour pros are using. Yeah, you've and, got Tiger, you've got ROM. Yeah, got yeah. Some of the cams. <laughs> <laughs> so this full swing portable launch monitor here is basically like a scaled down version of yeah. that um but there is potential there i guess for this unit to integrate with the yeah. full home golf simulator well, that was experience. the way that was the way tiger designed it was he wanted to take the data from his home simulator and put it on the range so let's whack this on the range see where it's most comfortable and uh let's have a look at it there yeah, yeah absolutely let's go outside okay so now we're out actually at cranley golf and country club range and we brought the full swing with us and the first thing to do when you're outdoors if you're on a range, if you know you want to be aiming at something, is to set the target line. So you can see here that, that swing capture cam that we were using earlier on to capture Mitch's swing in such high quality is now used as the target line. So we can set it up. We've got it set for down the line of the, of the mat here. And then we can set the target line, click out, and we're ready to go. So if I just whack a ball away. Nice and down the line. And all your data is going to come up on the app and on the full swing straight away. A horrible swing. That's so sloppy. thin. <laughs> dead, line, dead online though. Yes, yeah, so same time app on the, uh, on the launch monitor. So like Alex was saying, an advantage of the full swing launch monitor is you don't even have to connect it to the iPad. You can literally just take the launch monitor itself to the driving range and with all the data that you get on the screen, you're good to go. So one of the things to note as well is all that data on the screen, you can choose what you want to see. Okay. So uh, when you go into the app, one of the options is the, the kit unit um, settings. So you can go in and you can go in and select what data comes up on that screen. It'll change in real time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, we could drag up, yeah, you know, we could put, if you wanted to work on your club speed, for example, you could drag up club speed into the top four and it's gonna show up on there. So you get all that data that you're actually working on offline and in person. Yeah, yeah. So can you do that? Can you only do that within the app or can you do that on the screen? Uh, you can itself? do that within the app. You need to do that yeah. with the app, okay. So yeah, you can change those four uh, data parameters that are on the screen, but you can't do it through the launch monitor itself. You're going to have to load up the app yeah. and then pop them in. Or if you can, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll only lose it on the golf course. Good shot, eh? Decent bit of a pull. Should be 150-ish. 154. Lovely jubbly. I have a quick game we can play here. You pick a number. Yep. We have to get closest to that number on the full swing. So the carry distance. Yep. You've got an A time there. Um, so you can pick a number and try and replicate that, and then I've got to go with the same club. And see okay, it gets okay. 154, I've just been hitting it. Let's go 154. You're a bigger hitter than me. It's decent, but I felt it was a bit fat, so it might be a bit less than 154. 149, not go. bad at all. So you've got to match that, have you? Yeah, so I'm going to try and get 154 with, your, with the eight iron. Now your eight iron's probably a little bit stronger than mine, but not much. So we're gonna try and take off a little bit and see if I can hit it on the dot. No push. Nice strike. 149 oh. exactly. <laughs> Dead time. I know it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Lovely. We've got to call that that's a wrap a nice, there, That's man. a nice diplomatic finish. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Yeah, well done.